After that, we saw two duo competitions, the Lux Cup and the World Cup warm-up, with a fantastic mix of challengers and established veterans able to claw their way up the leaderboard. The newly formed duo of Perfect Tilt and Mastoris have shown that they are not to be messed with. Speaking of another player, clutching it up, most eliminations right now, Perfect Tilt sitting on four, and they're actually, I talked about these guys in one of the Road to World Cup videos. The newly formed duo of Perfect Tilt and Mastoris, like when they first came on, they were in the top every Every single time and it's been so incredible seeing them challenge up there every duos week because they mm -hmm. were always like yeah they were pretty good players but the fact that they're Ooh. well you're, you were complimenting yep. them yeah keep on keep I on mean, singing the their fact praises, that bro. they're always challenging always getting high eliminations but pressing into the late game and they're doing it consistently it's not like oh one week they're here or like one stretch they were here in the finals they fell off every single time so keep an eye on these two. I promise you'll be seeing more of them. Without a doubt, so many players that we haven't really been too accustomed to seeing in the past, uh, now getting that spotlight, it was awesome to get that with the Scallywag and the Blackheart Cup. And here we go, another one looking to get the rocket Got in you. there. And oh, they were, oh, they actually, yeah, so that, would, that was a connection. It was uh, hard to tell there. Um, if Parallel and uh, the other player were actually going against one another. Yeah, they were on separate teams. They it were, was okay. Honda who picked that up. I'm not I know lie, the, that's the why coloring I have the glasses. There's, that's why I have the glasses. To be, to be fair, I can, could not tell the difference between those yellows, but I'm also blue-yellow colorblind, so I wasn't. <laughs> it's just that's one of the ones where I'm like, yeah, I'll just assume those are different I'm colors. Gonna, I'm just going to think, why not, Ooh. right? Ooh, no, perfect tilt. Not able to connect with that heavy snipe, although his heavy snipe has been quite deadly. Just not landing there just yet. That, and if you look in that bottom right hand corner, you can see there is a decent amount of variable elevation through this. So perfect tilt, trying to find some other angles, maybe to drop somebody down or expose them to some of Mistoris' rifle fire. But right now, they're in a pretty solid position. They have Kai and Dinop directly below them, past Zirko and Nick over towards the side, but no one else really who can put shots onto them. I want to see where this hill or I should say where that safe zone is gonna be going. Oh, it's going far and away from here, uh, past that mountain, but through the trees and, and, and not, the, not the worst rotation though, so. Is it over the river and through the woods though? Ah, uh, you did it. Are we going to grandmother's house? We, we, would, you would you like to go to grandmama's house there? Well, luckily they don't have to go quite <laughs> all the way up the mountain. So they won't face, you know, that big bad mountainside. We talk about yeah. how threatening, I mean, he looks very friendly, but in reality, that is a ferocious beast when it comes to these late game circles. And they're still gonna opt to utilize a jump pad early on to try and get to the far side of this rotation and potentially maybe even turn and get some shots down as they get chipped out. Oh, and I think Perfect Tilt took some damage as well. He's gonna land inside of the box there with Bunny Buns and is gonna send him packing. We'll pick up the resources, the ammo, all of that. We'll upgrade the weaponry as well. Maybe a boogie bomb if he's feeling a little cheeky, but I think you'd want to keep that rift to go over anything else as well as the shields. And you got Addison and Acrian here who are trying to just tunnel out and recycle some of these builds, but they're getting pressured on. They have to be careful. They do need to be careful on this backside of the circle rotation. We talked about it so many times. You have to be ready to fight and not just rotate the best players doing both at all times as Colehart actually picks up Ando and Addison just decides to disengage. Great call with the jump pad because it gets him inside of that top 10. So five placement points and the four Elam points, nine points oh. for Addison and Ackley. Oh. As Addison actually drops down Colehart and keeps challenging for high ground. He keeps on going. He has a lot of builds to work with as well, Sundown. 115 players above him. Diablos is going to go down and Addison trying to get control, trying to retake that high ground. He owns it. Now the high ground is his and Diablos is just going to have to give that one up. 91 builds to work with. The player's going to be right there it's next to him. He he's going to shut that player down as well, sending him low. And he keeps on going for the high ground here, Sundown. And Ooh. it keeps on working out for him. He's, def he's, he's building out. He's waiting to see. Okay, so uh, uh, Masaris was right next to him, and I thought that he was probably going to try and fake him out, maybe build around him instead. But instead, he ends up connecting. Masaris ends up losing a ton of HP as well, and he's going to go down because of Addison. 
and we have 12 players remaining, eight duos left in this one. The elimination goes on through for Addison, who has been on fire thus far, playing very well, taking the high ground, but most importantly, he's just been defending himself. Every opportunity he gets, and he's been just cycling through those rockets, keeping it going. Very well done to own that high ground. Yeah, and now we're inside the top five as well as Perfect Tail on the logo. Trying to find it. Oh! Look at the pickaxe. He does, but honestly, might the little bit of glow cost him a lot as Diablos was able to connect a great pump shot. Would have dropped him to 12. Gets the siphon back up to 62 and some minis, but looking to connect. He drops him down low. What a play from that. He saw that the build was so weak, so he decided to take advantage. And I don't even know if that player was aware of what was going on at that moment in time. But Perfect Tilt, even though he's weak, is still challenging fights, Sundown. Still challenging challenging from the low ground, utilizing the heavy snipe. You have Dinop and Kai, and then you also have Addison and Akron up on the high ground. Addison and Akron have been impressing, but oh. Perfect Tilt getting dropped on now, walling himself off, does take a great shot, finds the other player, looking to connect ah. as he gets cracked down, 25 HP. Yeah, this is a rough situation for Perfect, perfect Tilt to be in, but Did he takes it. out oh. high, and Dinop is gonna be there to respond in turn, and then it's gonna send him out of the game, but Dinop and Akron and Addison, but Dinop is gonna be in a world of hurt here, no shields, to get hit with that and goodbye that is going to be the end of the game addison and akrian we will go to new york city it's actually something because because there's so many weeks in the qualifier it's not like oh you know hey one weekend we're doing 20 spots from na east 25 for me no it's 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 literally since it's dragged out across it's been incredible to see how much the posts from players is oh gosh slappy falls right into the hands of master is Seventh elimination so far for this duo of Masterus and Perfect Tilt. But the point I was bringing up was, I've seen so much support on the posts of the players who have qualified. Everyone in the Fortnite community knows what the Fortnite World Cup is at this point. They know how much is on the line for this $30 million event and what it means to actually qualify for it. And then because only like a few select players around the world are qualifying each week, it's like they all get their moment of, to shine, where they post their posts about qualifying. Perfect Tilt and Mistorius, one of my personal favorites. Limb one more, now eight combined to limbs. It's Nosh all the way on this low side, his teammate has now perished. As we look towards the top area of this map, Falter, name I've seen many times, four. Perfect, Perfect tilt. tilt, oh no, stuck inside the zone. The zone went back. The zone just cut back, so he was frantically trying to build in, and then the zone cuts back, and now look, a lot of this is all his tunneling. Suddenly, he's he went from the very back, back edge of the safe zone to the very front, ahead of everybody else. And it completely flips the story now for this game, for this duo. They're at nine of limbs, they're in the top 15, so right now this is a 12-point game. If they get top 10, it becomes a 14-point game. Now they're top 12. It could very well happen right here. Nine E-limbs total. 10 bit and the feed goes down. Oh, his, 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 uh, shark. Uh, does he realize? Is, is that floor pre edited? Okay, no, I think he's good. I think he fixed it. Okay, he fixed it. He, like a few of the floors he placed were yep. pre edited. Now 10 eliminations. 11th place. If they can secure one more. He was looking to get place through that wall. Pushing for the cheeky shot. Two. He gets it. The shot from the pump into the SMG spray. Picks off another one. 11 eliminations now for this duo. Top 10 in the top right corner of your screen. 16 this point a game. Huge game. 16 point game up to this point. Wait, that means that there's only, well, 10 teams left. There's not many duos still to <gasps> play. It's sad. Are you kidding Somehow me? Somehow gets two more as he falls to the low ground. Perfect tilt and Mistoris. Five total limbs so far. Ifa and Saint continuing to beam on down. Perfect tilt. With both players in that duo still alive, this is potentially their game to lose yep. if they are in a bad spot. And they're, the, the only issue they're going to have went is for it. and there it is. The ball are used to ascend all the way to the top. Oh, no. IFA takes quite a bit of fall damage, putting them in a tough position. They're separated from each other, Jack. They've got to make some solo plays here to make it out alive. Perfect tilt, four elims, five total for the duo. One more team needs to go down, and they get placement points for making it to top five. Perfect Tilt looking for the edit from underneath, trying to go for the sneaky play on anybody that might be rotating. And he drops in. Speaking of sneaky plays, looks for the hit. Still just the six there. Four duos, all solos, Jack. Perfect Tilt keeping the low ground. It looks like Ifa and Saint did wind up falling and perishing. It was Kerry who challenged up for the high ground, and Perry who's still alive at the moment. Perfect Tilt. Still 200 HP, enough materials to work with. 
maybe can place down a poison trap here if needed as things are going to begin to get dicey in these next few moments. Player oh. drops in and Kerry hits him with the 220. Kerry, what a turnaround this has been. Does work his way around the side oh, of the goes in Pick for that attack. Perfect tilt. Can he get back to Cloaksy and help him? Shot does not quite look like it connects. Now Aspect picks up the conversions onto Mr. Royce and Perfect Tilt. Oh. Soon. We have the actual results now, though. Mm, I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. And boom, off the top, Wolfgang Crims, OT Spades, $10,000. First place have qualified their trip to New York, second, uh, uh, 